So hey, it's 2020 and we're back out on the road and we've got some goals to talk about this year, personal and health and other things. And yeah, we're even going to talk about financial goals. That's coming up right, right after, after this. this. <laughs> Everybody, I'm Judy and I'm Jim and welcome to it's a highway vlog where you get to travel the country of us and you don't even have to leave the home office so while you're sitting there crunching those numbers don't forget to like subscribe click that subscribe button and the little notification bell ring 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 why uh, so you don't miss a thing there really? you go you know this one <laughs> well good afternoon we are in Illinois uh, we unloaded this morning in Pennsylvania, and now we're here. We have a load tomorrow that picks up and goes to North Carolina. We'll deliver that Friday morning sometime, and then we'll probably set in North Carolina for the weekend. Um, didn't like the deadhead this far, yeah. but... Yep. Something might always pop up this weekend, too. We don't know. Yeah, yeah. So, at least we're running. We're back on the road. This is our second day back, I guess. Yeah. And it's the 15th of January pretty sad <laughs> it is sad uh so you know it's uh it is what it is it is what it is yeah um, we've already tried for two loads out of uh north carolina and guess what we got the not awarded, awarded. <laughs> so but oh well it'll be okay but oh well you know i was looking at the weather a while ago it's not going to really be warm in north carolina highs in the 40s low 40s oh i thought we only took this load to get warmer <sighs> i know well at least it's not snowing yet well, up here it's almost 50 degrees already. Yeah, that's you know? true. So there must be a cold truck coming through. So anyway, so it's 2020 and uh, we were trying to figure out what we were going to talk about today since we're so out of practice. You were talking about vision when you said yeah. 2020. <laughs> it's 2020. It's 2020. 2020. In 2020 hindsight. I can see 2020. Uh, anyway, this is 2020 and so we thought we would talk a little bit about goals for this upcoming year and we've got a few of them. <laughs> Just a few. A few. We so always, We always like. You know. Yeah. Yeah. We, we're lucky if we get one of we them. Get, we're ambitious. At the beginning. <laughs> so we, we sort of got a whole list here of uh, uh, different things. And we've got personal goals, health goals, and weight goals, which I think sort of come together. And exercise. And exercise. And goes together, yeah. And then social. <laughs> What's our social goal? I guess to get out a little bit more and <laughs> talk to people. <laughs> Educational. Educational is always. You, you're you always on the internet learning stuff. Me, right. on the other hand, I just kind of. You know, entertain my myself hobby. other ways. <laughs> I learn things. I read stuff. It's my hobby. And yeah. spiritual goals? The spiritual goals is just uh, continuing maybe getting together with uh, more people and, you know, um, right. making sure we uh, hit church, you know, go to church and those kind of things. And finally, financial goals. Yeah. Finally, financial. Finally, F -F, finally finan financial. financial. So anyway, so I guess we'll talk a little bit about our goals and maybe some of our shortcomings from the previous year uh but i guess every year in the past <laughs> so what's now. what's our personal goal well the you know the personal actually you know jim's looking at the list that i made it was actually personal and then subset <laughs> all those other things were under personal goals oh. the other one was business you know so we have personal and then we have big categories personal and financial so we'll talk about personal first yeah so what are our goals you tell me. No, you tell me what your or your health goals are. Well, I know one of the things that we were really involved with this last year was losing weight. And I guess it goes along with that healthy goals. And uh, we were, I think, successful in a way. Um, I know we went home and we sort of stumbled a little bit. But, hey, the food was good. So I'm not going to complain. We didn't fall as far as we wanted to. or uh, Well, we did. <laughs> we, I didn't, we didn't fall as well as we wanted to. I didn't have as much good food as I wanted to. Um, and we still have some of the good food in the You truck, actually, so. I think, did better than I did, actually, over the break. I was, yeah, I think I said I yesterday. I went carb crazy. And it was just, we have got yeah. to get back into that. So our goals for this year is I have another goal. I lost a grand total net of 30 pounds last year. I'd like to do at least that much this year because I still need to get down more than what I am. And, uh, and along with that, our health, I think our health would go up if we lost some weight. 
-hmm. You don't have much to go, so I mean... I think I'd still lo like to lose at least 20 and then maintain it. Yeah. You know, because my, my hardest thing is maintaining. I can lose weight, and I've said this before. I can lose it. Like, there's no tomorrow, but I just can't keep it off because right. I, I always fall back into the crappy habits that I've always been. Right. So I think we do that. So those go hold it hand in hand or health. I mean, we are very fortunate. We don't take prescription medications, uh, and we're in pretty decent health. And uh, so, yeah, we'll just continue on with that. That'll be better. Yeah. Right. Keep our blood pressure down. And um, I have diabetes in my family. So making sure all that stays. Right. You know, I know the uh, the one thing for us is last. Well, probably for the last couple of years, we don't eat out. Uh, very rarely do we eat outside the truck. So we fix all of our own food. So we have control over that. Uh, and it just makes it so much easier. We just have to learn how to eat less yeah. <laughs> of and, the things we like. And healthier. We need to explore that this year. And I think that's one of the, my goals is to actually eat healthier, which means less um, prepared food. Um, like to get processed back to food. Eat, processed <laughs> food. I'd like to get back to eating, you know, more natural stuff. So fresh fruits and vegetables when we can find it. Because we love to go to the farmer's markets, but yeah. of course they're sort we of were seasonal. crossing our fingers that we might get to do that this weekend, but I yeah. don't know. I don't think, well, it might. It might. Yeah. There is a really good little farmer's market that we found outside Florence, South Carolina, and uh, we've been to that several times, and there's a truck stop within walking distance. We were sort of hoping maybe we would get one of those loads out of South Carolina, but you never hey, know. I never know one might turn up. So with the health and then the exercise, I have to get out of the truck more um, than I have been. I basically sit in the truck a lot, and uh, I need to get out and exercise and walk. I like to walk, and uh, I like to go on hiking trails, but... But you don't like the cold, and you don't like the heat. No. <laughs> so. If it was 72 degrees and everything was downhill, I'd be great. <laughs> exercise all the time. <laughs> I think the majority of us would. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that's me too. I, we get home and I stop my, uh, the structure that we have or the, the times that we have that I, I always try to squeeze in little walks here and there. And when I go home, it's like. Yeah, she is very good and structured walk. with her exercise here in the truck, uh, especially when we've been out for a while. I mean, she has a routine. She goes and does her yoga and she walks and I set. So. <laughs> Usually because you're working on the vlog while yeah. I do all that. <laughs> I, have, I now have a second job. Um, it's very, uh, it takes a while to do these vlogs, really. Uh, yeah. I'm at least three to four hours a day. By the time we film, edit, upload, add some stuff and to the descriptions to it. But it's a hobby. I like it. I enjoy it. And I'm glad you guys like it, apparently. So, Yay. so anyway, so exercise. Then. Exercise. I think all those health, weight, exercise all go together. Um, and then I guess we can talk about our social goals, whatever those <laughs> are. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. To me, over the years, it, we've kind of gotten... Where when we were first doing this, we were always out and about um, meeting new people and, yeah. and talking to other people. We've kind of pulled back on that because initially I think it was because we were trying to find out more information about what was going on in the industry right. and, and how to do this job. And we also ate out. Right. a lot when we were when we first and now started. we don't do that now we don't eat out so it's like we stay in the truck we prepare our food we get right. there you know so we just i think socially we just need to either start inviting people in to eat with us or go in and just have you know a glass water. of water or something yes i'd like a three-course meal of water yeah there you go oh, there that, you that's go. normal for you but um just just to get out more and get to know people again um some other people that we've gotten to know over the years have moved on and yeah. are now at home versus out on the road and you know we just and i enjoy people that's you know right you know. jim on the other hand he could sit in the truck and you know I like to get out, and <laughs> and when we first started, I was one that got out probably more Actually, than more you than did. me because um, I I came from a, a background of being social all day long, and you know it was very tiring. So when we started this job, it was like I was the one staying inside. <laughs> right. So, um. So anyway, um. I guess our what our educational goals. What would those be? What are our educational goals? Do we have any goals to be educational? My educational goal is to keep my brain functioning out here. And, and just, I feel like the older I get, the more uh, I just 
foggy. Foggy, yeah. Yeah. That brain fog stuff. The health stuff might help that, too, but I just feel like I just can't think as quick on my feet as I used to. Right. Well, and and I've, you know, I do read a lot on the internet. She's right. That's what I do. I I read and I, I research often various different things. This has been a good learning experience with me getting back into computers with uh with i use adobe premiere pro and adobe illustrator uh to to make the vlogs with and i've downloaded some other programs i've played around with so that's what i used to do in a former life i was an it person and so this has allowed me a little bit to get back into that i've totally just totally and completely ignored that portion of my former life um and so, like this laptop, I have a, a newer laptop uh, that we just purchased here a while back. And uh, after like five years of the old one, <laughs> yeah, it's got Windows 10 on it. I'm totally lost on Windows 10, and I was like a network type administrator type person. And so, you know. Um, anyway, so, so learning about that. So learning about that. Maybe some other things too. I, I I still love history. I like to research stuff. So places we go, people we see. So we'll think about that. Spiritual. We used to go to church a lot. Um, and we would make it a point on a Sunday if we were near some place, we'd find a church and we would go. And for whatever reason, we don't do that as much as we used to, which we need to do. Yeah, I think it's just because, again, it's just easier to sit here in the truck and watch something online. And uh, but right. then I miss the people part of it, which right. um, we're we're kind of getting together with some small groups and doing that. Yeah. So, but we can we can do the small group stuff. But. Yeah. Yeah. Online stuff. So. Anyway, so spiritual, whatever. So business, business goals. We've talked about this before that, you know, we haven't really shared much of our business stuff. I mean, number wise, and I'm still a little uncomfortable with that. Um, but, well, I am. I mean, because... <laughs> Well, I, I'm not, but on the vlog, I guess it is. And, and it's not that I'm, I, you know, I really don't know where we stand as opposed to a lot of people. I know what we need and what we make is enough for us to live on. And I don't know. I mean, for some people that I have listened to that do what we do, we make more money than they do. And I've, I know for a fact there are people that make more than us, but we are not, we are not what you would actually call go-getters i guess um we we run and we run hard when we have to but we go home a lot in fact judy and i were talking about this today you know we keep track of the days that we're out and we're home and we average about 50 days a year that we are home that's seven weeks of time that we're home and uh, of course we're not home you know seven weeks in a row no it gets spread out we we are home over the weekends and, and yeah. And there are times like over Christmas where we're home for a lot longer, you know. But. Right. And I think where we're at is probably where we want to stay. I don't really want to be home any less than we are. I mean, you know, we have a grandson and um, and family at home and our daughter at home. Uh, we like to see those. And so fortunately, where we live allows us in northern Ohio to be able to get through the house quite often. We were so, talking about this the other day, too. There, there are drivers, you know, or people that do what we do that uh, take vacations. And we right. consider our vacations as being home. at home. Um, this year it might change, though, because with some of our health goals, uh, we've gotten some family together, our kids and us, talking about our health goals. And if we attain those, then we as a family might go someplace. So. Yeah, we might, we'll see. Might, might afford us to go across the street. I don't know. <laughs> um so yeah, we like to go home probably more than we should, um, but that's just what we do, and and that's what we have done ever since we've driven. I mean, we go home. Uh, we don't stay out. We will stay out six to eight weeks at a time. Usually, when we do that, we end up staying home for a week. Um, but when we're home, we don't make any money, so it's it's sort of you know difficult. Like right now, we're probably not going to get a paycheck <laughs> until next week, uh, which is okay. We had enough money put back for that. Um, so anyway, I, I don't think that's going to change um, as far as how we stay out. But it does affect our bottom line. There are people that stay out longer than us, and I know for a fact they gross more than us. Well, obviously, if you're out running, you're going to get more money. <laughs> yeah. For an annual goal, we have always had an annual goal of grossing to this truck $300,000. Have we ever done that? Nope. No. <laughs> it's a, Never. It's a good... It's, it's a good... 
goal to try to achieve. Right. Um, but We've been close. Realistically, you know. But we have been stuck this last year. I have not got our figures from FedEx yet to know exactly what they say we made. I know what we made. We grossed right around $275,000 to the truck. And that is what we have grossed for the last six years. I was going to say, even before we got into our own truck. So it, it's always something that happens. You know, um, last year we were down a little bit, but we had an engine go out of the truck and we were off for a month. Um, this year started out great. And uh, I really freight thought slowed down a little freight bit. slowed down. And so every year it's, it's a little something else. You know, um, we have a, a weekly goal for the truck. We want to bring in at least $6,000 of revenue yeah. each and week. And if we're going to reach that 300000 though, we have to attain 6000 6, Well, with 6 the time six. that we figure that we're home, which is seven weeks, uh, that leaves us 45 weeks to run in the year. And if you take that in the 300000 that is $6,666.67. Um, <laughs> Somebody did the math before we got yeah. on. <laughs> so, I mean, that that's really, I don't want to say that's unrealistic for us, the way we run. It's not. We've had weeks where we've grossed a lot more than that. We've had weeks where we've grossed a lot less than that. It just yeah. really depends. A lot of it depends on canceled loads. Canceled loads are horrible. They can just... Whenever they cancel, they can kill you. Uh, they can just cut a week in half. Um, but fortunately, it doesn't happen too often. So so anyway, for our sales, I still think our goal is $6,000 a week. And that's revenue to the truck. Gross. And that'll um, give us about what you know we've been making every yeah. year. So. Yeah, so we're, we're okay with that. I mean, I know it's possible to make more money. I've had friends that I know that have made quite a bit more money than that in a year. Uh, but, you know... It's, that's us. Um, we can make more, sure, but we, we don't. We choose not to. I mean, it's a trade-off. Yeah. If, and it depends, like, if financial-wise, too, personally, you know, we want to pay off as much of the debt as we have at home as we can, as well as the truck. Right. You know, um, so those, you know, we may, we may have to make a little bit more than someone else or make a little less than someone else because someone else out there might have more debt, you know. Right. We have a house at home and we have vehicles at home, you know, that um, we're, we're paying on. So right. well, you know, one of we the, need to make a little bit more. One of the, you know, how do I say this? One of the things with our goal, our financial goal, also involves the rate per mile that we drive. I mean, do we want to drive, you know, to grow 6,000 miles or dollars a week? How many miles are we going to drive? You know, do we drive 2,000 miles? Or do we drive 3,000 miles or do we drive 4,000 miles? You know, our goal over the years has been, well, $2 a mile. So 3, and that's probably low. So we're talking 3,000 miles a week, which is not really that much for what we do. Um, but um, we are going to have to step that up a little bit. Cost have increased and everything else. I will say that I know that I went through this last year. And all miles, and this is all odometer miles, we put 135,000 miles on this truck last year. And um, actually a little bit less than that, now that I think about it. Anyway, I did the calculation. It came out. We did 2045. So $2.04 a mile for all miles. And, and that's not... FedEx miles, that's actual odometer miles on yeah. the truck. That's all of our deadhead. That's all of our deadhead without deadheading dead to heading, a load, deadheading home. Going home. <laughs> so, I, I, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that's the most it's ever been. Um, it's really the first year I've really looked really super close at that um, because it's just I wanted to find out this year exactly. A lot of times, I mean, we know each year what we make per mile, but that's FedEx miles. So that's actually the mileage we're running for the truck. So, anyway, we need to get that up. And it's sort of hard to do that sometimes um, because we have to be picky with the freight we take and we don't take, try not to haul cheap freight, um, whatever that is. And so whatever that's... Whatever the industry is at the time because that can, that's, that can vary from year to year, from month to month, right. from week to week. <laughs> to give you an idea of just how much stuff has went up, um, this truck, when we bought it, was $236,000. The new truck that we're probably going to get into in March, Maybe. hopefully. Need to sell this truck, folks. <laughs> Put it up for sale. I'll make you a good deal. Um, we'll be around $288,000. So that's a substantial increase 
you know, I figured it out the other day and it just sort of blows my mind that if we were happy making $2 a mile before, that increase would jump our price up to 244 a mile. And, uh, you know, that's, that's getting up there. Um, but that's what we need to do. We'll gain some of that back in the fact that we won't have the downtime that we've had in this truck. Okay. You know, every time that we have downtime costs us double because not only are we going to have to pay for a repair, which is usually at least a thousand dollars, uh, we're also going to have to, uh, pay for, uh, you know, the repairs itself. And the so, home time, whether you're in a hotel or, you know. Yeah, it could be even worse. So, and you're not getting paid anything because you don't have any freight to haul. <laughs> so our goal is to sort of minimize our downtime. Because as drivers, too, you know, you don't want to have the downtime because that means you're making no money right. at all. And, you know, you have your budgets and your your personal goals and your financial goals at home, too. And and if the truck is out and down, then, you know, you you, you can't make the money either. So if you, have, uh, you want to do less miles for more money. Right. And that's, that's sort of the key. We want to run, do less work and get paid more. Mm -hmm. So that's our goals for financial. Uh, you know, we would love to make $300,000 this year and make it at 250 a mile. That would be a great year. Um, I don't know if that'll happen or not. Um, the new truck we're getting will be uh, what they call a D truck, which is a three axle truck. We should have access to more loads. So we're hoping that helps somewhat too. Well, we're not looking forward to the increase in the payments per month. I mean, we're probably looking at fifteen, eighteen hundred dollars more per month just in payments and insurance costs. So, uh, but we'll see. You know, um, truck's really not too much different than this one, honestly, to tell you the truth. Um, the sleeper was slightly bigger, like I think maybe eight inches longer, and uh, but which other, doesn't sound like much, but it it's is. Really, it, it will can, be. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when you only have so much in here. Um, but yeah, we're looking forward to it, so we'll see. But like I said, I know where there's a truck for sale. It's a good truck. Uh, yeah, so contact me. Uh, so anyway, I guess that's sort of our uh, business goals for the year. You know, just sort of keep on doing what we're doing. And we'll try to do vlog updates on how those are going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll do a segment each week where I do a thumbs up or a thumbs down if we met our financial <laughs> at the, goal. For at, the, the year. at the start of every vlog. <laughs> well, just so you know, this week, if the load goes tomorrow, we will end up above our personal weekly goal on yeah. three loads that all paid pretty well per mile. So... Uh, not a bad start to the year, so we'll see. And we get a set in North Carolina for the weekend, hopefully, which is always fun, even though, you know, we may have to be scraping icicles off the outside of the truck, but uh, we'll see. So we're looking forward to that. So those are our goals for the year, I guess. And um, if you want to, share some of your own goals down below yeah, and you let, know, us, let know. us know how things are going with everybody else. Yeah, and like I said, I know those numbers they sound huge to someone that doesn't drive a truck but you know they're really not that big and they're easily they're you know huge. Well, they are huge <laughs> i'll talk about that someday we get what's i'd call someday. number creep because we have to be careful because we deal in large numbers we don't make that much money but we deal in large numbers because there's a lot of money that flows in and flows right back out uh you know we bought forty thousand dollars worth of fuel last year uh so anyway uh, but anyway, those are our goals. So if anything else, I don't think so. So please like and subscribe and ring the little notification bell. Ring. And uh, we'll probably see you in the next video. So long, everybody. Good night.